XPLA Sapanarana from Chitwan district married her comrade Sankatamang inside the cantonment. She was injured during the conflict and received an artificial leg with the support of STPP. As it always was a dream to study, Sapana completed her school living certificate together with more than 3,500 other ex-combatants in the cantonments. Now they run a shop together in their new community after the closing of the cantonments. Their son Sajun attends a boarding school in Chitwan. As a modern family, Sapana and Sankar share the household work. The community selected Sapna to receive dialogue facilitation and mediation training provided by STPP. Together with other community members and ex-combatants, she is now working as a dialogue facilitator. They address community conflicts, for example, through role plays. Many others like Sapna who received training in the cantonments and who opted for voluntary retirement are now using their skills for their reintegration into civilian life. Jogras Tharu completed level 1 training as building electrician inside the cantonment and completed level 2 training after he settled in the community. With the money of his retirement package, he opened a small electrician business together with his wife. In average, he earns rupees 12,000 per month, which is about twice as much as the minimum wage in Nepal. Sapana Rana Magar, one of the old community members, successfully completed electricity training with STPP in a mixed group of old and new community members. Today, she provides house wiring services for households in her community. She is one of few Nepali women who are trained and work in men-dominated trades. Shriyam Pati Tharu is participating in mobile repair training supported by the project. To empower vulnerable groups, STPP also offers training to differently abled people. As differently abled people are often stigmatized, the training not only improves her employment opportunities, but also her social status in the community. Manu Pata received plumbing training from STPP. She is now able to fix pipes and drinking water taps and to construct toilets. Thanks to these skills, she is providing repair and maintenance services for community infrastructure as a member of an operation and maintenance group. Yumi Sarumagar completed masonry training with STPP. Together with a friend, she now builds water taps and toilets and is also a member of an O&M group in her community. This enables her to contribute to the household income and improves the status in the family as well as in the community. To promote efficient and sustainable agriculture and livestock methods, STPP supports model farms in its working communities. In mixed groups, farmers learn and apply commercial organic production and marketing. The diversification of the vegetable variety improves food security and nutrition at household level. STPP promotes participatory learning centers to empower marginalized women. They learn to read and write, apply basic mathematics skills, and discuss social issues in their community. Moreover, they establish saving and credit schemes. The savings allow them to engage in income generating activities and to support community development. Together with the community, the PLCs organize and celebrate, for example, the International Women's Day and raise awareness about human and women rights. Through Forum Theatre, they also address domestic violence and fight against alcoholism and gambling among men. <laughs> 